Ultra Park. First time he came in the studio with that boy, with that boy Mako, I was like, man, who is this nigga? You know what I'm saying? He was on that, you know, he get right in there, whip up on that keyboard and on that lap. I'm just going crazy. First time I heard him, I knew he was special. OG Parker, I'm executive producer QC, 23, from Atlanta, Georgia. And I was in band my whole life, so I was a marching band in high school. My granddad, professional pianist, so just been in my blood. I know how to play piano, drums, saxophone. I know how to play a lot of stuff. He got all the young niggas fucking with him, and, you know, we're about to use him. Part of that machine over here at QC and just go to the next level with it, man. Parker hungry. He hungry. He called me every day. The only thing he want to do is get in the studio and, and cook up, you know what I'm saying? Probably about my junior year in high school. So I got Fruity Loops on a flash drive and just started making beats all the time. So I didn't really know how to play too good back then, but I knew like some chords, so I just started messing around. I don't think it necessarily has to be live because now you got the VSTs that, you know what I'm saying, have the live instruments recorded in there. But I think for Thomas Music, I think it's good to have a little musicality put into it, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy because like when I came to QC, it wasn't even no floor in here yet. Like it was cement. So me and my homie Deco, we were sleeping on the sofa. They had a little sofa in there. We were sleeping here. I ain't had no car. My mom used to just drop me off and I'd just stay here for three, four days. No shower, no nothing, just cooking up. So, see it pay off. It's great. It's crazy. I just been locking in with the Migos, working with Cinco, Rich Kid, Famous Dex, August Alcina. I got some records coming out with him. I'm trying to go into the R&B. So, I just been working on a lot of stuff. Excited for it to come out soon. With the Migos, you gotta have a lot of beats ready. Cause they know what they want, they know what they don't want. So you just play it, they'll listen to it for four, five seconds, nah. <laughs> so I like to have a lot of beats prepared so that they have a, you know what I'm saying, a good variety to pick from. Like what Parker brings to hip hop, nobody else can bring it to it right now. He bring a lot of emotions, a lot of feeling and music. And with that, you know what I'm saying, that's gonna give him a longevity and he gonna surpass all the competition, you know what I'm saying? Music is all I think about 24 seven, you know what I'm saying? I've been praying for it since I was, in high school starting off. Just, man, I just want to work with all my favorite artists and just make great music. So I'm just really focused on, I just want to make a song that everybody likes. You know what I'm saying? That's my goal. I want to make a song. I want everybody to have like one song I produced. You got to be a studio rat. So like when I link up with Cash, it's like, we'll just make 10 right there. Like the other day we came here and just cooked up 10, 15 beats. Like you just got to keep going every day. No excuses. One of my favorite producers is 40. So Drake's producer, he has a big influence on my sound. Like he's just so dope. <laughs> it's crazy because my name back in high school was Pretty Boy Parker. That was my producing name. I don't know what, <laughs> I don't know what I was on. Then I linked up with Mako. Then I was like, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna change it. Just go OG Parker. I'm working on my own tape. I'm gonna drop him before the year's over, so. Just getting a lot of records together. It's gonna be all produced by me. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna, I wanna have the Migos on there, Lucci. Just all the artists I work with real close. Just get some hits and just put them all on the mixtape. Coach K and P, they really, you know what I'm saying? They really came through and really just trusted me with the sound and really just let me work. You know what I'm saying? They don't, they don't really like how me. They just let me work, do it how I do it, cook up at the crib, cook up here. Don't really care as long as the hit's coming. And it's dope, cause you know what I'm saying? They really rock with you before everybody else does. You know what I'm saying? So you see how they did Yachty, you know what I'm saying? They really create, you know, bring the stars, create the stars. So it's really dope being around them. They definitely legends, definitely. I've gotten so much better just being here, being around people that just make songs like this, you know what I'm saying? Quavo come here and make five songs. Offset do it, take off do it. Everybody in the label really do it. So it's really just crazy. So just got to keep up. Well, I went to Georgia State for two years. So I was taking the train, taking the bus to the train station, going to class, going from there to the mall. I worked at the mall. I worked at Macy's, going to work. From Macy's, I take the train all the way back to my crib, 
get picked up by my mom at the train station, go to the crib, and then cook up. So you know what I'm saying? That's like, I'm getting home at like 11. I done did a whole days of work, and then you still gotta cook up. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, to finally be able to just focus on the music is beautiful. I definitely feel like I'm slept on a little bit. I feel like people don't really connect a lot of the records I've done with my face. So you know what I'm saying? I'm really just working on that. Cause I feel like I got a lot of records up, but you know what I'm saying? I ain't complaining, I'm just gonna keep working. Probably just being in the studio with like the Migos and them and just like them telling me like they really, you know what I'm saying, fuck with my beats, really think I'm talented, you know what I'm saying? Like hearing that from, you know what I'm saying, artists that you really like their music is dope feeling. That's definitely Lucci. Like he really embraces my piano sound. So like, I'll send that man like 10 beats, he'll get on all of them. Like, we just got the connection with the music, so we definitely like the vibe of just like smooth, piano vibey, you know what I'm saying? I, he like always talks about the real, like, Lucci, one of my favorite artists. So that's why I'm, I just love seeing him just blowing up like this. Like, and he coming with the hits too, the club records. Like, the every day we lit, key to the streets, they like, so it's just beautiful seeing him. I done seen him come from like, just being here with Cinco, you know what I'm saying? And now he just one of the biggest artists out, so it's dope. I don't know, like I met him, he was here with Cinco. And I was just like, let me get your email, and I just sent him some beats. And he hit me up and he was like, bro, I got all of them, send me some more. And then just from then, like, I just pull up on him, send him some, I pull up to his crib, and we just lock in. God first, stay focused. You know what I'm saying? And definitely work out. If you work hard, keep God first, it's gonna work. OG Parker checking in. Rock with my mixtape, we out. Ultra Park.